I don't want to say this too loud, but today right now we're in um, Plaza del Castaletas. Um, and I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but we're uh, right now, today is the election day um, for the people of Spain and Catalonia wants its own independence, so there are police everywhere. It's actually a little bit uh, dangerous where we are right now. Uh, we're in Plaza del Sol, so it's usually like a very uh, nice area, um, but today right now there's police and the uh, taxi driver said that they're just being like, he said porqueria, like they're just being jerks. Um, and the guy actually told us to leave in five seconds, like we were going um, to stop at a different area. And the police said, oh no, you have five seconds and you have to get out of here. But, um, so we're in a different area right now. So we're just trying to get something to eat. Um, we're trying to go over to um, the palace, um, maybe walk over to Buen Retiro Park. We're not too far from anything. So more of like a central area, but this is crazy. So I don't know if you can see it in the back, but that's all the police uh, cards right there and then if you go towards uh, Plaza del Sol you can see a lot more they're actually lined up so I'll try to insert that footage here but again I'm trying to be really cautious because I don't want them to take my camera let's go, this way. Huh? Let's go the other way so right now all the lights are off in um, Madrid and the restaurant so just take a look it's just like a couple weeks ago in Orlando Oh, this is crazy. I don't know if it's a coincidence or if the government turned down the power so that people wouldn't protest. Super weird. Okay, so to be fair, it wasn't all the restaurants. We're walking into a restaurant right now and they have power. So, thank goodness. I think it was just around the area where the people were protesting. They probably wanted them to get out of the area. Alright everybody, so we actually found a place in Madrid that had power that I mentioned before and it's the best place in the world. Um, right now they're offering a special and I, can, I can't even do it justice. So I have Lady here for you. She's a beautiful lady and she's going to explain it for you. So we are today in a place called Montaditos. Um, what they do is they have a special on Wednesdays and Sundays where they sell everything for a dollar. And it's basically small sandwiches or um, small tapas that they call it. And everything is an euro. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, it's not yeah, a dollar. It's, it's one a euro. euro. Uh -huh. um, but it, you can get a ton of it. It's a good value for anyone that's visiting Madrid. Um, they have a ton of these. Like they're basically like McDonald's for us. Um, and it's just a great value. Everything looks really good. The food looks is made fresh. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to be here. And they have drinks, so you guys can get sangria, you can get um, beer, you can get, I guess got water, but everybody on this table has rum and coke, always, you see a theme on this trip, right? So, I mean, we're just having a great time, Madrid's the coolest. That's what I'm talking about, this is a salad, aceitunas or olives, this is uh, potatoes with brava sauce, which is like a, like a spicy mustard, it's really yummy, and like a little hot dog with fresh bread. Aceituna, more olives, water. Oh my gosh. This was, and then John got sandwich, it's gone. He must have hated it. And then he got uh, potatoes, um, patatas, like uh, chips and stuff like that. This is $7. Oh,
the tree the trees are changing colors we haven't seen foliage <laughs> in years this is really beautiful and this is all sand that we're walking on Oh, cool. The big statues. Okay, you took a picture of it, didn't you? I did. There's an iguana. If anybody knows the significance of these animals on this, there's a turtle. And also, this is really interesting because it says Cuba. I says a Cuba, so uh, to Cuba. So it's a monument dedicated to Cuba. And actually, when we're in Cuba, we found something similar. So if anybody knows the relevance of this, uh, comment below because this is really neat. It's pretty mysterious though because it has the animals on it, and those animals aren't necessarily like usual animals. I don't know how to put it. All right, everybody, welcome. This is our last day in Madrid. Today we are in the beautiful Buen Retiro Park. We just came here for a couple of minutes just to walk before our train ride. We're going to Ochoa. We love Madrid. The people here have been nothing but nice, nothing but generous. They're uh, beautiful, wonderful, open-minded people. When you go out, we, we've gone out a couple times in this town. Everybody just goes out together. There's not like this elitist social class or like a VIP or anything like that. It's like we've been on many different kinds of scenes like flamenco scene, rooftop scene, um, restaurants. Everybody is just having a great time at all times of all hours. I love Madrid. It is with a heavy heart that we are gonna leave the city, but we are going to Barcelona today. That's the next leg of our journey. And we are excited about that. So we have a three hour um, high speed train ride. It's a, Abuelo's actually, it's his first train ride and it's definitely his first European train ride. So, um, it's gonna be amazing. And um, hopefully we can get some rest and then hang out in Barcelona and see what happens. So we're so excited. Um, we're gonna be actually in um, Badalonia, which is just north of Barcelona. And it's actually amazing because it's more of the countryside, but you can see still all of the Mediterranean and all of the views of the city. So I'm more than looking forward to this, but Madrid has given us so much and more. We will definitely, definitely return back to the city. All right, and La look vida, at this smooch. La vida Madrid. La vida Madrid. Ah. La vida Madrid, okay? Yeah. All right, all right, ciao. I'll see you guys in Barcelona.